Morning everyone. Now today I'm going to do a review on these two mobile power banks. The white one on the left which is kind of shiny white plastic and the black one on the right which has a nice soft rubbery feel about it and this very interesting sculpted line that runs down the length of it. The white unit on the left takes four 18650 cells and I've put uh, my best ones in here a Sony, a Samsung and a Sanyo and the unit on the right takes six 18650 cells and just for the moment I've shoved all my rubbishy old Ultrafire cells in that one. In terms of inputs and outputs the uh, white box has two USBs one is supposedly one amp and the other supposedly two amps uh, it also has a power output jack the circular one there which is anything from 5 volts to 13 volts in steps of half a volt and the input charging jack is a micro USB. On the black unit again two USBs again the 1 amp and the 2 amp thing although in some of the documentation they're described as 2 amp and 3 amp not quite sure why. Um, an output jack the one on the right there the smaller one um, now this one has a set of voltages um, 5, 9 or 12 but also 3.7 but I'll come back to that later and then the input charging jack is actually that 2.1 millimeter socket um, on the left of those two. This video is mainly going to be about the user interface of these devices and what you can do with them not so much about the electronics I can come back to that in a later video but I will touch on certain parts of the circuitry where it's relevant to the user interface um, the white box has an interesting user interface. The black one is just funny. So very quickly, the white four cell mobile power bank was £10.59 and came from Enan. And the black six cell power bank was £11.25 and came from each desk. Now they're both of course supplied without batteries. So let's put some batteries in. So I've put the batteries in and now I press the on button which is very obviously sitting under this button on the front panel and nothing happens. And that's because the battery protection IC which you can see, see in that little group on the right hand side goes into protect mode and uh, has the batteries disconnected. And on the black unit here you can see that there's a button very near the battery protection IC on the white unit it's not so obvious because the protection IC is underneath but it's that button just on the right of the display which resets that IC. So let's press that button and there goes the microcontroller booting up and now when you press the on button it does work. So to switch the power bank on we press the button it flashes on three times then it shows the percentage and then it shows the voltage and it's currently set to 5 volts. Now I've put the charge adopter onto one of the USB outputs so that you can see that 5 volts in two places. It's upside down but uh, you get the idea. Now I'm going to press and hold the button that says up. I'll let go on up and that means that we're now in the mode where pressing the button will take the voltage in steps upwards. Press the button and we go up to 5.5 volts. Let's wait for the charger doctor to catch up. 5.4 that's saying, that's fine. Press again, we go to 6 volts. Now notice that the charger doctor has switched off and that's because you can have 5 volts or 5.5 volts coming out of the USBs but if you go to any of the other voltages, 6 and above, the USBs are disabled and that's very sensible because um, that means that you can't blow a USB device by putting a, a voltage that's too high into it. So let's keep stepping this up. 6.5, 7, 7.5. And this goes all the way up to 13 volts. Now what I've done is I've plugged the supplied white DC lead um, into the output socket. These are the various leads that are supplied with the two power banks. And I've put a, um, a CCTV style connector there and one of my little light bulbs because I want to show you the voltage going up. So 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 
Come on. Nine and a half. Ten. Ten and a half. Eleven. Eleven and a half. Twelve. Twelve and a half. Thirteen. Now, thirteen is the highest voltage that you can get out of this thing. And notice that it's kind of jittering between the 13 volt display. Let me move that light bulb because it's a bit bright now. And the um, percentage that remains in the batteries, which I think is 52, it's hard to tell. And that is some sort of indication that power is being drawn, that there's some current flowing. So how do you step the voltage back down? Well, you press and hold the button, wait for DUP to arrive on the display, and DUP means down. Up is up, DUP is down. I'm not quite sure what DUP means, but the only thing I could think of was down potential. Anyway, now that we're in DUP mode, I can press the button and we go 12.5, 12.0, and I can wind it all the way down. I'll do the whole thing because it's quite interesting seeing that light bulb go down in brightness. 8, 7.5, 7, 6.5, 6. 6. 5.5 the USB comes back on, see that, and then 5 volts. Now to switch the unit off we press and hold the switch, wait for up or dup, and then off, and then we let go, and it switches off. Now you'll notice something quite interesting here, the charge adopter has gone off, so the USBs have gone off, but the multi-voltage output hasn't gone off, it's just gone a little bit more dim, and what that is is 3.7 volts. That is, the boost converter has stopped boosting, so we're now just getting power fed directly from the cells to the output through the inductor and through the diode. So just a very quick recap on boost converters via Wikipedia. Here's the diagram. The switch, if open, um, doesn't actually disconnect the supply from the load. So the supply, in this case 3.7 volt, uh, lithium cells goes through the inductor, through the diode, and directly to the load. Now on the USBs on this unit, there's a MOSFET to shut them off, but on the multi-voltage output there isn't. So that direct route through from the batteries to the output still exists. So that's kind of an undocumented feature. This thing actually has a 3.7 volt output, or an output directly from the lithium cells. But you have to be a little bit careful because if you don't realize it's there, you uh, might short the output and uh, there'll be a lot of current there because it's coming directly through the inductor and the um, switching diode. Now interestingly, on the black unit, it is documented. See there where it says out M, 3.7 volts at 4 amps, 5 volts at 2 amps, 9 volts at 1.5 amps and 12 volts at 1 amp. But it's so badly implemented, there's no LED on the front panel for 3.7 volts. But you can actually get into a situation where it supplies 3.7 volts and the 5 volt light is on. It's shocking! Now the final menu item on this white unit, press and hold the button. Dup. Off. Aut. A-U-T. And what that means, if I let go, it's now in auto power off mode. So if I switch it back on, on flashes three times. We get the percentage charge level of the batteries, 52%. We get 5 volts. The 5 volts actually turns on. And you can see that on the charger doctor. And if I keep waffling and rambling for 20 seconds, hopefully after 20 seconds, assuming the charger doctor isn't drawing too much current, the unit will automatically switch off. 20 seconds is quite a long time, but there it goes.